The newly discovered photo of Harriet Tubman, the African-American abolitionist who led numerous people out of slavery, has gone on display for the first time in Washington, D.C. The photograph on display at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African-American History and Culture is believed to be the earliest known photograph of Tubman, according to Smithsonian Magazine. In the photo, a young Tubman roughly in her 40s can be seen wearing an elegant dress while sitting in a chair. Lonnie G. Bunch III, the founding director of the museum, told the magazine that the photograph is significant because all of us had only seen images of her at the end of her life. She seemed frail, she seemed bent over. It was hard to reconcile the images of Moses, one of Tubman's nicknames leading people to freedom, Bunch said. But when you see this picture of her, probably in her early 40s, taken about 1868 or 1869, there's a stylishness about her. And you would have never had me say to somebody, Harriet Tubman is stylish, he continued. Tubman was born into slavery in Maryland in the early 1820s. She became known later in life for her efforts guiding hundreds of slaves to freedom using the Underground Railroad, an elaborate secret network of safe houses. A picture like that does a couple of things. First, Bunch told the magazine, it reminds people that someone like Harriet Tubman was an ordinary person who did extraordinary things. So this means you too can change the world. But I also think one of the real challenges of history is that sometimes we forget to humanize the people we talk about. And I think that picture humanizes her in a way that I would have never imagined, he added. The photograph had reportedly been discovered in an album that belonged to abolitionist Emily Howland. Howland and Tubman were reportedly close friends. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, the photograph will be on display at the museum until March 31st. I came across this article on msn.com. This article caught my eye because I said, hmm, let me see what they're saying about Auntie Harriet. I find this article to be very insulting. For them to even say, now that she's wearing a dress, you can humanize her. Now that she's wearing elegant clothing, you can humanize her because when I was a child and the photos I saw of her and the things that I heard about her and what she had done to free our descendants of the enslaved and to free the enslaved, that was human enough for me. It didn't take for me to look at her clothes to look at a scarf over her head, to look at her hunchback. I never cared about those things. What I cared about was her actions that spoke louder than her words. Although she had powerful words, her actions mean more than anything. And for the article to the person who wrote this article, the, the, the person that was interviewed for them to minimize her life down to what she was wearing, how dare you? I felt like this article was, I don't know if they were attempting to, to pay a compliment or capitalize off of Harriet's Tubman fashion at that time. Like, what, what, I, I, honestly, what, what was the purpose? I mean, I can see if, you know, they, hey, they discovered a photo and they wanted to share it to the world. But to bring up how the clothes are supposed to humanize her, how would one do that? How could one do that? Because for one, when missionaries were in Africa and even still to this day, they look at the outside of the person, what they're wearing or if they're wearing clothes or not. But they started putting clothes on people to try to humanize them. But if you look at, there are so many people wearing clothes. There were so many slave masters wearing clothes, but how human were they? Because with their actions, they were devils. 
So please don't come for Harriet. Please don't come for Auntie Harriet Tubman and try to put her in this lackluster of a vogue category as if she was trying to be stylish during a time where people did not have their freedom black people black americans africans descendants of chattel slavery descendants of the enslaved that were considered to be chattel this was an insult plain and simple if you've gotten this far i appreciate you for listening and have a great day.